Um, one day I had off, I came back to work. Everybody was kind of looking at me a certain way, but I couldn't like, I couldn't tell what it was about. Mm -hmm. There was one guy, he was from uh, Argentina, mm -hmm. right? Real good dude. Mm -hmm. And he told me, he'd only known me like maybe six months. He said, can I, can I talk to you, brother, for a minute? I said, yeah. He said, the police came here for you uh, yesterday. I was like, are you serious? He was like, yeah, they came here for you. I said, wow, this guy only known me six months. What about these people I've been working with for 10 years? You think they couldn't have just told me? What do you think? I killed somebody? Mm. Right? So I called the police department, realized I bought a Range Rover. I gave it back. They were bringing me uh, the papers to go to court. Mm. They were suing me over the taking the Range Rover back. Mm. Right? But what bothered me most was all these people who I thought were my friends were so afraid to at least tell me, hey, are you okay? Because the police came looking for you yesterday, right? But that's a what, 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 what kind of what kind of what kind of level of friendship were you at with those people? Dude, when I was your friend, um, you know me. If I, if, well, we're closer friends than you would say we, with many. Other we, people. we we are. But if I if I'm a, I'm a pretty, I don't know if I'm a good person or not. I had this conversation with someone uh, this week. I don't really know if I'm a good person or not because I know that I have a good heart, but. I may not always be an angel, mm. right? But if you know me, you know what kind of person I am. At least if you thought I was in trouble, you would warn me. And I thought I had at least you build that rapport with the people. Yeah, like with the people because that didn't work, man. I'm the person I'm gonna give if you moving, dude. I can. But that, but that's you. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna I, help I, you. Yeah, that's that was my fault. Thinking that's you. that people were like you, like me. People, yeah, people ain't like you. Only people, one people ain't only you. It's only you. And if you wasn't you, who you be? You're right. I only want to be me. Shannon Sharp. I just felt like, you know, if it wasn't when I first saw it come across my timeline, I was like, oh, okay. I didn't really think much about it. And you know, I post a lot. I, I post all types of stuff on okay. the page. And I didn't really post it because I was like, so what? You know what I mean? If, if it was my mistake, I believed them. I said I, I didn't even think about it. You know, until people started talking about you can't go live and be the. And I, but I didn't care. That's your that's your issue. You said it was a lot. Then then they found out that you lied. It made me wonder, like, why would you feel that's an insecure move to me? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Maybe he just wanted the attention because you know he's still single. But you yeah, got you get all the fame and fortune. Women will marry you. You're Shannon F and Sharp. Yeah, not baby. the women that he probably like. Women are they, probably going to do it for need, the wrong reason. You need to go back home to that country swamp yeah. you're from and go see Annabelle. Or Lily May, she gonna be big as hell because she she probably damn near dying. That you know, there was a girl, there was a girl that I like, and I, I, you know, there was a girl that I like that I probably would have liked to have married from the country. Her name was Ann Anna Mae Pittman, I think. Country girl, beautiful, good heart. Anna Mae Pittman, you know, Anna Mae Pittman, Whitakers, North Carolina. Mm, Anna Mae Pittman, don't put out like they even put the name. <laughs> Whitakers, that's like near Rocky Mount. Like uh, twelve miles due south of Rocky Mountain. And, and, and Pittman was still out there. And, or Ann Pittman. I'm not sure. Ann, but I'm thinking because that was country name. But Ann Pittman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a beautiful country girl, man. I wish I could have married. She was gorgeous, just sweet, uh -huh. soft spoken, good heart, uh, very but, but, you know, spiritual. But you, so you Shannon Sharp. Uh -huh. If you go back to the country and, and you look the way you do, a married anime Pittman. No, you're not going yes, to I, Yes, I would. Because anime was just that kind of girl. So you think 55-year-old Shannon Sharp been living life uh -huh. of jets and caviar. Yeah. Going to marry a big... She might be a big old country woman. And old. Because she had <laughs> that many years of money like you got. Let me, let me tell you something. The way Ann Pittman was... Shannon Sharp. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> If I would have married her and she gained 100 pounds, I would have loved her that much more. Mm. She was a very special. But you think Shannon going to do that? Well, see, the problem with Shannon is he got the jet and the cars and the money. So it's going to be hard for him to meet a woman that really like him. He's going to get the young girl. Yeah, and he's going to be hard for a woman to really like him because he's showing what he has. Even if he doesn't show what he has, they know what he got. Every woman doesn't know 
him like that. But you got to go to another country. If he, but if you know, he could go down south, they don't look at sports like that. That they was in person, like that's sharing the shop. So, I'm like somebody in her family going to tell her. I love them country girls. But somebody in her family going to tell her that that's Shannon Shaw. I love all them country girls. Marianne. Somebody going to pull out his YouTube, his <laughs> football videos. and He's going to have to go to another country if he want a girl to like him for him. He got to go somewhere far. Like, he got to go to a country that got, like, the, 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 the village got no TV. Mm. And even when they find out, they don't care. He, yeah, he, he's he not married an American woman. He, you know oh, yeah, I, you know what? That probably would benefit him to go to another country and just meet a woman. South Africa. Go South Africa. Dude, you ever dated a South African woman? I have not, but I've met many. Dude, let me tell you. South African women have that thing that makes a man feel like a king. They mm. Women should take notes from them because they really, really, really know how to do it. Mm. Mm. And I'm not saying sexual or intimate. They know how to make. I'm going to say in America, if you want a woman to know how to do it in America, you got to go to the South. Mm. Southern women. They can cook. They can cook. They're going to be calm. They're not going to be as calm because they're still American women. But they're going to be, they're going to take care of men. I love a little feistiness. I like women who. I like a little feistiness. I like women who sing, whether they can sing or not, around the house when they're cleaning or cooking or doing whatever, you know. I love that southern. I love a woman with a country ass accent. Oh man, and a country ass, and they and a and a big country ass, and they be <laughs> they be mispronouncing all the words and oh, shit. I love that shit. They be like damn, she just don't even know. But that's, that's so beautiful. cute. Yeah, yeah, brother. Get your nice southern girl, man. Get your nice. Get you southern. a good. Get you a good country girl. Nice country girl. Like yeah. like a house when you pull up, it takes. You drive in for a minute to get and to the, the car got to get dirty for it. Get the car get dusty. The road all of a sudden disappears. And they know how to make biscuits from scratch. Oh, if you're a woman that knows how to make biscuits from scratch, please contact us at uh, <laughs> OG underscore Frank first. Oh hell no! I'm not gonna answer you back. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're a woman and you know how to make biscuits from scratch, please let us know. That is so important. I tell people when women were competing for me back in the day, mm -hmm. the women that I was most attracted to were the ones that could really cook. No, I love me. You know, I didn't know as a young man how much I enjoyed a woman that could cook. I was blessed by the Lord on this one. I yeah. mean, I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual, I always say. Yeah. I was blessed by the Lord on this one. Even when I dated outside of my race, mm -hmm. that woman knew how to cook. I never dated a woman that did not know how to cook. Uh, okay, you know what? You got you know you got me there too because all the women that I've ever dated, okay, some of them knew how to cook that wasn't gonna cook for me because they got angry. You know, they always cook for me. I always got food. I always got a good meal. I've tried from and I've tried. I mean, the Pakistani meal. I've tried the Vietnamese meal. I had a Pakistan meal. girlfriend. I had, had a Korean girlfriend. Yeah. Every, they all what I liked about the yeah, women they cook, was they cook boy. Mm. Yeah, they all cook. If they if they really like you, they will cook. A woman will cook for you. She'll invite yeah. you over for yeah. a meal. That's how you can tell she genuinely likes you. Yeah, if you get a meal. If a woman cooks for you, yeah. she likes you. Unless you make like a lot of money. That's how you can tell if they really if like you. If you make a lot of money, a woman still will cook for you. Uh even if the, even if she can't cook, she knows she's gonna have to. Because you can buy whatever meal yeah. you want. I like, I like, you know what? And I like a cultural woman who knows how to make you feel at home, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that America, now, okay, I like ghetto girls too. They got mm -hmm. their place. Mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. I'm oh, not, I, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you when I was single, because I'm a married man now, mm -hmm. but my girls that I love were either country girls or deep inner city girls. <laughs> like ghetto girls? <laughs> in the city. I call it inner city because not every woman in the ghetto was was ghetto. ghetto. Yeah, yeah. I knew a girl from the ghetto that could roll a blunt with one hand while she was driving Just backwoods. Am backwoods, amazing. That's amazing. Cheers to her. I forgot, I forgot <laughs> her name. <laughs> oh man, so Shannon, man, I, I'm still a fan of you. Uh, I think you're the bomb. Love your podcast. I listened to it. I love the last episode of Marlon Wayans. I thought that was phenomenal. Uh, 
And I loved it because Marlon was able to show uh, DJ Vlad, who assumed that he wasn't worth the 40K, uh -huh. that he's worth the 40K. Now, you, you, know. Know, you know what? Yeah, I, I like Shannon. I like what he did. Uh, Marlon, um, Vlad was wrong. I think Vlad Vlad was wrong. He, sh he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have voices. I, I, you know what? I stopped liking Vlad because <laughs> it was like he only gets black rappers and black hip hop artists to <laughs> snitch or tell. Like he's trying to make them feel so comfortable that they tell, like, yeah, I killed a guy, and then the next thing you know, they locked up. Mm, I hear and, and, and then he's, hear he's exploiting that. the fact that he was the one that did the interview that got them locked up. But yeah. if, but if you're if you're foolish enough to be so loose in the mouth, that's on you. You know, I agree. They they, they at their own ignorance, they perjured themselves. No one should be that ignorant. Yeah. And if you are that ignorant, you are a criminal. <laughs> you figure it out. You're a criminal. You are a criminal out. because you're ignorant. Because you're ignorant. <laughs> yeah, that's the there, only there thing is, you can do. There is no reason for you to sit in front of someone and tell them information on video. So I give I give Vlad his props for what he's doing. He knows how to he knows how to capture market, disperse it, and gain attention. However, I felt that he was wrong with putting out how much Marlon requested. That is a that was a conversation through business. Yeah, we should never even know that people got paid to come on his show and do interviews. But they should pay. <laughs> they should pay. He should pay or they should pay. Either way, business needs to take place because this is not. Cheap. And he paying him like ten thousand a pop, and Marlon wanted for Marlon, well, yeah, he he's worth it. I think he's worth. He's he worth is it. the last child of the Wayne family. Yeah, he no, he's not the last. I thought he's they, the last child. No, they got the last immediate of the immediate family. No, no, of the immediate. That's what I'm talking about. The immediate, yeah, family, the immediate of family, the yeah. ones that gained the wealth for the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's the last child. Yeah, God forbid anyone anybody passes away. Yeah, he by logic he should be the one remaining. Of that historical family. Dude, that show in Living Color, I have no idea why they would get rid of that show. Oh, it was too powerful. It was like you couldn't not watch that show. That should have been like SNL's run. It was like Dave Chappelle. It was like better. you couldn't wait. Yeah, it was better. Better. Dave Chappelle is great. They had He's the a dancer. Goat. That's you know, that's where J Lo got her start. She was dancing on the Of course on the I know J Lo was on there. I love J Lo. But I'm gonna tell you, J Lo is cool and all, but the little brown skin one, the, the main choreographer from the beginning. Okay, yeah, yeah, she yeah, with the legs, right? Yeah, she was a baddie. And yeah. who else was bad? Mm -hmm. Rosie Mother after Perez. That's true. You know the uh the, the one that you just said, what was her name? You don't know her. I don't know her name. The, but she was the the, the main choreographer. The choreographer. Yeah. She had a calliplegian. What's that mean? You know, that means a woman with a perfectly shaped ass. Wow. Yeah. She, she had a perfect Yeah, she, 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 she had did. a caliper. She yeah, she did perfectly. She had one. We could mark her down. Yeah, it's one of the best, the best asses of, of, of time. She did have one of the best asses of all time. Yeah, I don't know what she looked like now. She probably looked bad now, too. She probably still look good. I hope she don't look like Vivica Fox. Oh, my God, poor Vivica. Yeah, poor Vivica. Poor I saw Vivica. a picture of her when she was young. Vivica was bad. Because, because I'm old, I forget how she looked no, when she, she was young. I was like, God damn. Vivica will make you... It, Vivica would make you go, ooh, make you make an ugly face. She was so bad. Damn, she was bad. She couldn't. She couldn't let it go. I would have married her with just no. I didn't need to know nothing. Just and that's and that's why she ended up looking. I feel like she looked bad because no man let her know that. Yo, you bad. They and, had to tell. Come let, on, you had let, to be telling her. Let, let that age like fine wine, baby. You get grays. You a sexy gray hair woman. This some of these grandmas out here looking bad. Yes, I saw one the other day. <laughs> I'm trying to help her cross the street. All right, mama, you need help crossing. The street. Man, I help you crying. Man, poor Vivica, man. Another one that isn't Asian very well for me, too, is my shorty that was on uh, Jamie Foxx show. Gabrielle. Fancy. She didn't age too great. Oh, God. oh yeah. I forgot her real name. But she was she was a, she was a bad one too back She then. just had too many chicken wings. She must be from the South because she did too. She's just big. If she lost some weight, she she'll be would, bad again. Yeah, it wasn't like Vivica where you, but you know all the what? Botox Somebody and Somebody at home probably telling her, you look good, girl. Gar Garvel. I can't think of Garvel. Yeah, Ooh, she, she was like French. Yeah, she was French. Something like that. But she was a baddie back in the day. Dude, she's still, if she lost about 40, 50 pounds. Just 40 pounds. I think she'd be bad. She would be like, and yeah. you know I do personal. I do her for free. <laughs> you going to do her for free? From the, from the back. <laughs> 
<laughs> she lost about 30 pounds. That's she she would be bad. She'll be bad. She'll be bad again. But at least she ain't do nothing to her face. She just she just gained Na- weight. Naturally, naturally beautiful. You know who else gained weight? Who's that? Sunshine. Ball of Nights. Oh yeah, I saw her. LaShawn yeah. something something. She was a bad one too back in the day. And when she was on the Wayne Brothers mm-hmm. the first season. Yes. She was a baddie. Man, those women, man, were some gorgeous women. But you know what? Were they gorgeous? Most I think most women have a time. You know what? I used to think this, but then I realized, no, it's not true. I thought everybody has a time in life that they're like extremely attractive to other people, you know, at a yeah, young age. I believe that. Then as they get older or whatever 20, happens. Or 18 they don't to 26. Do, yeah. Or, or as they get or whatever happens and they may lose it or they just because I mm-hmm. feel like mm-hmm. women like black and Latino, Hispanic women are naturally sexy. At a young age, they don't have to. It's in the DNA, mm-hmm. and I think because they're they have that in their DNA, they feel like they don't have to work out to look sexy, and they're always going to be like that. But some of them do not have to, and they still carry that sexy in their old age. That is true, but a lot of them mm-hmm. now those are exceptions. And, and you know, I, I, but I'm gonna I'm give you an exception. One of the exceptions that normally make that woman like Latina, you say Latina, I believe uh-huh. I agree with you as well. They have a Caribbean. Back to them. Yeah. Whenever they got a Caribbean issue to them, a little uh-huh. Caribbean in it, it's uh-huh. going to be sexy even in the old days. Yeah. Uh, uh, a percentage of them. A percentage. Yeah. But the other <laughs> ones that don't realize that, look, you got to at least start going for a walk every day, <laughs> ride a bike, <laughs> or do something physical to maintain. Jump rope, guys. Your, jump rope. Jump, jump rope. Jump rope. 10, 15 minutes a day, three times a week. You don't never have to work out. I've lost uh, about 30 pounds just in the past few years. Jump rope. Jump roping. Jump roping. It's the ultimate exercise. It's like swimming. Man, it's amazing. Use your whole body. And when I'm done, I am like, I feel free. I feel great. My goal is to get that Shannon Sharp body. I ain't going to front. That's my goal. Shannon Sharp is a person. You know what? I have, there's a golf pro where I work. And, uh, and he complimented me here, like, you work out? I like, don't know. I ain't got time to work out. He's like, let's just make a pack that we start working out for, like, three months, try to get into shapes. So I'm like, mm, okay, okay, I, I'll do that. What are you going to do? Well, you know, I did personal. I do a routine that I don't need any weights. You so, do all calisthenics. Yeah, so I do, like, I can do, like, uh, start off with, like, 10, 15 minutes a day, mm-hmm. and then maybe the next month I'll do 30, but that 10 or 15 minutes <clears throat> gradually builds up to the point where I like, I don't need to work. I look fine. I'm not competing mm-hmm. anywhere. So mm-hmm. you just want to tighten everything up. And I think you should look at working out like a peak thing where you at one point and then you tighten everything up and you get into the habit. Mm-hmm. Next thing it becomes a way of life. Mm-hmm. You never had to, you know, people are like, wow, you're working out. I'm like, no, I just, Take a bike ride and go for a walk a couple times a week. That's a very healthy aspect for someone to think about for a lifestyle. Instead of it becoming a hobby or a sport, it becomes a lifestyle. And once you promote that, you're always going to be healthy. Because as we get older, you need you need to start doing that. Your doctor will say you need to lose 10, 15 pounds. Okay. When if you was doing something the whole while, you wouldn't even have to worry about that because your weight would be well balanced once you once you do things to give you balance but you just go home go to sleep and think i'm always going to be fine and even if i lose i gain 30 pounds i'm still going to be sexy and then next thing you know it's like wow i can't believe i gained all this weight because it comes a lot faster than it goes so Mm. Mm. you know just need to be aware of that and uh love yourself if you want to be around um, I had some, a lot of health issues, as you know, mm-hmm. I lost about 30 pounds and people were like, you're so skinny. Are you okay? And I tell you, to be honest with you, I really felt insecure as a man to be so skinny. I felt like somebody in high school could probably come give me a good go at it, you know? Uh, but once I gained my weight back, my confidence came back, which it should have never left. Mm-hmm. Um, it was human. 
Yeah, but we're human. We're human. We have yeah. to give ourselves grace, man. So yeah. we, we got to look at it like what it is to try to make things better uh, for the future. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to work until I'm 65, which is some year, uh, not that long from now away. As soon as I'm 62, I'm retiring. You're done. You can give me half the money, a piece of the money. If I got to move to Spain or the, fa the favela in Brazil or to Italy or wherever I got to move or North Carolina. Uh, you there. Yeah, because I'm want I'm I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired. I work like a horse the majority of my life. I'm about to enjoy this shit. And I just, these last years, I want to go fishing. I want to write. You know, I want to talk to people. You, know? you, you, you need to attack your stand-up comedy game. Yeah, I do like comedy. You should tell you. So let's talk about our last topic and get ready to get out of here because it's getting late. And I don't want to keep you here all day. And thank everybody that's been rolling, dropping in and out of the live. I see y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yo, uh, all gas, no breaks. Super Saiyan Santi. Chilling with my man, OG underscore Frank. He's sorry. You can follow us at AGNB Marketing on Instagram. At AGNB Marketing on Instagram. At AGNB DMV on Instagram at AGNB DMV. And uh, please follow the show, like, comment, subscribe down there. Appreciate you all for rolling with us. The numbers are looking really good. Uh, we still doing well online. Shout out to Netherlands, Finland, uh, France, Brazil. Whoop, Brazil. Brazil is going hard for Dude, us. We right got to go to Brazil and do a show. We should go to Brazil. Will Brazil pay us to do a show? I'm down. Come on, Brazil. Hey, pay me to do a show. Uh, yo, and shout out to the DMV because the DMV internationally, y'all are downloading us, man, and y'all listening to us and y'all rounding with us. And we love you, DMV. We do this for the DMV. We, yep, we, we from the DMV. We from the DMV. We both got here and we loved it here. We yep. want we want to make this place shine yep. before we head to the favelas. So, last topic we're going to talk about. Uh, and yo, follow my man OG Frank first on Instagram if he actually ever uses that page. They might have wiped. Can you tell him where to get tickets? Your tickets for the gun show? For the gun show? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what's, what's the last <laughs> La Last topic. Little Wayne and this entire Super Bowl fiasco going on right now. Little Wayne feeling uh, hurt over not being chosen to be the act for the Super Bowl, whereas Kendrick Lamar has been chosen to be the act for the Super Bowl. Well, you know that's Jay Z. That's what everybody's claiming. Yeah, he's a, he's a, well, they put him in control of the. I, I, I hate. I understand business, and because I understand business, I don't believe when people say someone's in like complete control. It comes down to votes in a boardroom. He might be like the chair. You know, he's the guy with the gavel, but still, the deciding vote is done by a chair of people. The same way where he he owned the Brooklyn Nets, he didn't own the Brooklyn. He had a percentage. He was an owner, but his percentage was so small. Yes, you could call him an owner, but not a deciding member. At least what I I would I would say. Well, you know, I think people like to embrace as much as they can about life. And if I take a course at Howard, and somebody asks me in my in college, I'm like, yeah, I go to Howard, right? Mm -hmm. So I think he just wanted to embrace letting people know. Really, on our perspective, he doesn't need any more clout. I don't need any more. Dude, you're me. a billionaire. You're Jay Z. You know what's more important than being Jay Z and a billionaire? Having Beyonce. Yes. <laughs> All that other stuff doesn't matter. Like, yo, that's his wife. That's it. That's your wife. Yeah, that's it. Imagine somebody who doesn't know him meeting him, and meets his and wife, and not not knowing how much money he has, mm -hmm. and then. I'm like, yeah, I want you to meet my wife. It's like, that's your wife? Right. That's your wife? That's like I'm where I met you. I was like, that's your wife? <laughs> Dude, did you hire a model to did you hire a bottle to pretend like she your wife? Come on, man. I'm like, I don't even believe that, dude. You can I dude. I know that ain't your wife, right? Right? That's like that. Yes, that is my wife. Yeah, I know I now I know. <laughs> and now I know, but it's like you know, the guy will be asking Jay Z like, "Mike, come on. that's your wife, man. Come on, man. Come on, cut that out. Who are you? You know, <laughs> dude, I can't eat. Look at like, wait, dude, you must be rich. Yeah, you got to yeah. be rich. And not and, and not even because there were other rich men at the time that could have had that woman. So he he I, he got some game. 
I think she felt the connection with him. There's game there. Yeah, there's game. There's man game. You got and to then, and, man and, game. And then man one, game once he put that game, they bonded. And you know what? What I think is important is that because people are like, if I ever catch another person cheating, um, that's it. We're gonna sometimes that helps you start from a point of rebuilding trust and it makes you a better uh couple in a relationship. Mm. You know, um yeah, he cheated. She still stuck with him when she could have went with another person that was a billionaire. Easily. Yeah, easily. easily. You know, people so, were, people were, she knew it's like how I feel like this. And we're gonna keep talking about Kendrick, but we went off topic. <laughs> we right. always do. She knew she wasn't gonna get another Jay-Z out there. Yeah. It's like Kobe's wife. I feel bad for these women that marry these monsters yeah. of men. Yeah. I do feel bad for those women because when they divorce or the man is gone, yeah, you never who gonna is, get who is filling who that shoe. Who can replace him? Who is filling that shoe? Who can? Yeah, you're right. And in the way women love, women love different than we love. Who is replacing that father? That and he's like the, the other man. He's an ultimate man. But you know what? Because that's a double standard. Because like it's true. Look at Holly Berry. When she breaks up, yeah, okay, all right, he moved on to someone else. Yeah, exactly. But then she gets with another guy, and uh, David Justice, one of her, I mean, her second, third husband. Yeah, the baseball player. He said, if she's so great, which, look, I do think she's great. She's amazing. I love Holly. I love her, too. Catwoman, too, coming up. However, I, I, there's something that might be off. He, he says, if she's so great, why does every man she's with leave her? Yeah, there's something. Just you know, there got to be something a little bit. Yeah, off. yeah. I, I, you know, yeah, yeah, you I, I would, I would, you know. You stick through it. Yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah, I would have to stick through that. You stick through the Holly crazy. If Holly ever make, if you stick through it, Holly make you leave. I'll be like this, bro. <laughs> okay, you know what? I don't know. I don't know if she can cook. Oh, I mean, if she thinks because she's so cute, she don't have to cook, then it wouldn't work. That's a good question. Would yeah. you want a woman of power to know how to cook as well? Yeah, I don't care. You even though she could. You need the finest. I don't care day. if she makes a billion dollars. I want you cooking for me. That makes mm. me feel special. Mm. Not if you hire a maid. Mm. That's like if you invite somebody over for dinner, you're a bachelor. You invite somebody over for dinner and you have the dinner catered. You know, it's like, or a woman have like, she ordered Popeyes. Mm. It's like, no, I don't, I want, I want, I want it to come from you. Mm. Mm. And even if you're not good at it, if you're willing to grow into learning, to me, that's important. Mm, mm. Yeah, I give a damn so, about your money. Little Wayne, Jay Z. Yeah, they say he's in charge, which I don't necessarily believe he's hundred percent in charge. I think he's just. Uh, he's probably not hundred percent. I think he's the chairman. Yeah, he probably yeah. got bangs the gavel and they made they he, all vote. He, he got influence, but because of the seat he holds, he's the one that deals with the consequences. Yeah, he's dealing with the consequence that he didn't choose Little Wayne. Do you think Little Wayne should open in New Orleans? For the Super Bowl, he should be the, I mean, it's not open, but be the uh, halftime show. I think that because he's from there, mm -hmm. the people expect him to open because of all the notoriety he has. You believe he, and, he should have could, that? Okay, that no, I'm not saying he should have it. Mm -hmm. I'm saying they should have at least considered him part of the act uh -huh. because he's from there, and the people that's what they the people from there that's what they want but they've done the super bowl in new orleans a few times before and we've never been at this topic ever okay and then i'm gonna say something else the only reason i think we feel that way is because the last super bowl that was held in la uh -huh. contained snoop and oh, Trey. exactly and that was that time that was and that was from that time period and culture right and and and, and, and snoop and dre are la I think he should be up there, but I'm thinking, don't be surprised if Kendrick Lamar doesn't invite him. Now they're going to do it, but is it just, I mean, people are still going to watch. I'll be honest with you. I haven't watched a halftime show live in a long time. I actually watched Let me be honest later. with you. I haven't watched, and I was a Dallas Cowboy fan since yeah. 1973. Yeah. But when the Colin Kaepernick kneeling, when they were talking about the players, I stopped watching. I'm not really watching football anymore since then. You know, actually, I stopped my kneeling. Uh huh. Oh, I don't. I never kneeled. I, I I was kneeling with the brother. I felt I understood what. He oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. I'm for kneeling. Yeah, I'm that's for kneeling. In, that's international, you know. Oh, uh, it is. Now. Kneeling is international. Oh, yeah, yeah. We spoke about this. Yeah. But I understand. I, I understand what he did it for. Yeah. And the I felt like they took it a little too far, and that's why I maintained 
However, I'm done. I'm back with football. But because I took such a long time off, uh-huh. I can't get back roped in. Yeah, me, me, okay, me either. I can watch. What I like is uh, I watch Colorado, Deion's team. But that's not NFL. I know, I know. I try to watch the NFL, but I don't really care. It's like once you stop watching and you, you're you not but, familiar but, with but all I the players. I take time off of the NBA, uh-huh. and I still will watch the playoffs. And I'll still watch the All-Star game. And I still watch maybe the last season, the yeah. last remaining of the season. Okay. I'll watch it. I cannot. And I'm trying. I'm a mm-hmm. Giants fan. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying. I can't get roped in. I'm not, I think once you cut it out, you're not programmed to feel roped in, as you say it, like you were before. But I want to be. Because some of my friends are all football fans. And I, I enjoyed the conversations and the battling and all that. But it's it's. I feel like it's also kind of boring. I don't. Is it boring? Well, they, What's they, going on? They're making it. They're girlifying it. Oh, where dude. the oh. players can't hit hard. We must say girly. <laughs> oh, can't say girl. We can say girl. You, you can't all gas no break. You gonna, you, gonna make, cut, you gonna cut that out? No, nah, it's live. Oh, we live. It, okay, we're. It, it's a little softer. We're making it softer. We like the violence. I love the hit. I love defense more. Than I like the offense. To be honest. Check this out. The MMA fight. Oof. Over the weekend, Oof. this lady got her head split open. You can see her scalp. Well, beyond the scalp, you can see the skull. You can see skull. And I, I don't think that you could get any rougher than that. That's bar. I, I kind of think about MMA. That's it's a little barbaric. But you know what? But that's probably her last fight. It gotta be yeah. because if they hit her again in that hit, that split, she might die on that. In that, in that Dude, I'm hurting from that hit. When I saw it, and the stitches come down her face to her nose, and now watch the swelling that's about to happen. Oh my god! Shout out that doctor that stitched it though. He stitched. He did a damn good stitch. I, I thought it was a little messy. You thought it was messy? I think they could have used a stapler. No, nah, maybe it's that. That's remember that me. Remember that's that your, your face moved. Yeah, I could have stapled that though. That 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 that. But that's that, a lot that. of sta- might be a lot of staples. But think about it, your face. You got all the you have a lot of muscles in the face, yeah. so you must pull. You might pull those staples. Okay, I mean, he did a good job. I just hope she's okay. Yeah, I pray she's okay. And I hope that's her last fight. Please don't fight no yeah. more. You don't. I don't think you. I don't think you know how to block. <laughs> I don't think I, you know how to block I, your face. I've, I've enjoyed the podcast today. Thank you. Got a lot off my chest. I appreciate that. I'm happy you did. So, uh, my topic on the New Orleans Lil Wayne situation. I feel like I wish that Lil Wayne and the people should not have voiced their opinion the way they did. I wish they would have done it professionally go back into the system, maybe place yourself on the bill with him, have that conversation because it is Kendrick Lamar's time. Yeah. And just because LA had Snoop, I don't think New Orleans had to have you. I feel like New Orleans could have had Master P. Okay, you're definitely right. Why don't you mention him? Isn't he an icon? I think Mas- to me, to me, and people may be not feeling what I'm about to say right now, uh-huh. He's Master P rep New Orleans harder yeah, than okay. Little Wayne. I would have to agree. And he had some, and there's some bangers. I would love to see Master P come out and go, let me hear you say, oh, no, 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 no. That shit will bang. Yeah, you're right. you're right. I didn't look at that point, but yeah. Bring out Silk the Shocker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And even get the brother out of jail for a day. You know what I'm saying? Even if you could do that, let's get to see murder out there. For a <laughs> I, heard they, I heard they letting R. Kelly go. Damn. I heard maybe. I don't know because I wake up and look I at I mean, it. don't get me started on our Kelly situation. Uh, people have done worse. Mm-hmm. I'm not if, I'm not with what he did at all. I think that was ridiculously yeah. foolish and idiotic with yeah. the power and status you have. Get you a grown woman, baby. Get you all these grown-ass women out here. And they say 18, nigga. You, you, get the, you get in the top of the pickings at 18. Not what we getting at 18. You get the top of the pickings. That's true. Wait. That's true. He could have waited. Come on, baby. You got to control he, yourself. He could have waited. Man. But Wayne, should Wayne, should Cash, and then it should it only be Lil Wayne? Why shouldn't it be cash money? Yeah. I don't think it should have been an individual for New Orleans. I would even like the cash money, no limit connection because I felt like they never did anything. And how cool would it be to see Cash Money and No Limit finally work together at the Super Bowl? Yeah. I would have probably watched the game. The beer is calling me. The beer is calling me. <laughs> we'll, we'll get, we'll get, get your beer. Yo, yo, 
So that's that. That's the show today, man. That's the show today. Cause the big calling my man OG underscore Frank. Yo, thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribe. Where can they find you at? You remember where they can find you at? OG underscore Frank. OG Frank first now. OG Frank first. OG Frank first on Instagram. He ain't gonna post nothing. Yeah, hit hit me up. He ain't gonna know that you messaged him. You know how to make biscuits from scratch. Hit me up. Hit a brother up. And 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 it made pet away. What's the name? And it made pet. And and Pittman. And anyway, Pittman. Whitaker's North Carolina and Pittman. Call me, call me brother. And Pittman, please call my man, yo. Yeah, I'm at Super Saiyan Santi, but most importantly at AGNB Marketing at AGNB DMV. If you want to get on the show and be uh, interviewed, hit us up. If you want to get on, if you want to be marketed, your product brand. Hit us up at AG, oh no, at, at AGNB podcast at gmail.com. AGNB podcast at gmail.com. I have it right down there. Follow us on all platforms. We truthfully love you guys. We are getting, yo, the numbers is crazy. We're getting advertisements on the podcast. Oh, thank you, finally. And uh, yeah, man, people know who we are, man. And Super Saiyan Science, we're going to try to keep doing this every Monday till you know we stop because we live. Please. Well, all right. Say, sweet talk. What do you know about that all gas, no brakes? Man, I heard about that all gas, no brakes. I don't think they gonna let me on. I ain't got a damn thing to talk about. Boo, they talk about everything. This is all gas, no brakes. Oh. Don't step on the brakes. Don't step on the brakes. Oh. Don't step on the brakes. Huh? What up, my boy?